Hello and welcome to this video on the difference between mediation and moderation models in statistics. My name is Christian Geiser, I'm an instructor and statistical consultant with Quantfish and on this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials. On Tuesdays I usually present uh, issues related to the Mplus software and on Thursdays I present more general issues on multivariate statistics. If this is something that interests you, then please subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and to check out the description for additional resources. In this video, I want to address an issue that confuses many people who are new to multivariate statistics, and that is the difference between an analysis of mediated effects versus moderated effects. So, this distinction between mediation and moderation is not clear to many people and also there's additional confusion because there can also be such thing as mediated moderation model and so or moderated mediation and so in this video here i want to address the basic distinction between mediation and moderation i want to explain to you what mediation or mediated effects mean versus moderated effects. And I'm gonna begin with a mediation model. You can see a path diagram here of the simplest possible mediation model where we have three variables in order to assess statistical mediation and also moderation. We need to have at least three variables. And so here in this path diagram, you can see that I have an independent or exogenous variable X that influences two variables, M, my mediator variable, and Y, the outcome variable. And so in this path model, I have three regression coefficients or path coefficients, the A coefficient, the B coefficient, and the C prime coefficient. The A coefficient is the regression coefficient for the regression of the mediator M on X, and then B and C prime are the regression coefficients for the regression of y on m and x respectively. The idea in this model here is that a part of the effect of x on y is mediated by m or we could say is explained by m. And I want to give you an example here. So for example, um, the outcome variable here could be subjective health, how I rate my own health subjectively, self-reported um, so say well-being scores related to my health and then m the mediator variable could be functional health something like a rating scale on which i rate how well i'm able to do things like um, walking things like biking things like um, walking up the steps into the second floor and so on and then x could be physical health, meaning an objective, a more objective score of how, um, how I'm doing. So for example, related to blood work, related to a physician's assessment of somebody's um, blood pressure and um, other types of indicators of um, physical health. And so the idea in this model here is that there might be an effect of physical health on subjective health. Obviously, when I'm healthy, then I probably tend to judge my subjective health higher if I'm objectively healthy. But the idea in this model is that that might be partly or fully explained by functional health, meaning that if I'm in good physical health, then I should be able to um, have good functional health as well. So if I'm a healthy person, I should be able to walk without much trouble. I should be able to um, climb upstairs without any trouble, should be able to uh, bike and so on. And so the idea here then would be that um, the effect of physical health on subjective health is partially or fully explained by a higher functional health sub such that this path C prime might actually be zero or very small once I have functional health in the model because functional health uh, or the relationship between physical health and functional health might explain why there is an association between physical health and subjective health. And so I can assess this with this mediation model. I can ask or I can address the question of whether physical health has a direct effect on subjective health above and beyond um, its effect that's mediated via functional health or 
uh, or not, or whether it's as if the physical health effect doesn't have a direct effect once I have functional health included in this analysis. This model here is a multivariate, so say regression model, where I have two regression equations, one for the outcome variable y. y has two predictor variables or two independent variables, as you can see here, because y is both influenced by m via the coefficient b and also by x via the coefficient c prime. So it's a multiple regression equation with two independent variables. And in this equation, I also have an intercept, that's the i, y term, and I have an error term. So this is just a usual or typical multiple regression equation for y. And in fact, you could estimate the path coefficients of such a model via multiple regression analysis. You'd have to estimate two separate regression models because in this model, m is also a dependent variable. So m also has a regression equation because m is dependent on x. Or we could say there's a path from x to m. That's the path a that is estimated. And that's estimated in a separate regression equation. So you couldn't estimate this model in a single regression equation. And that's one big difference between a simple mediation model or any mediation model and a simple moderation model, where, as we will see, in a simple moderation model, you have only one equation, whereas in any mediation model, you would have at least two equations because you could not have an indirect effect without considering multiple dependent variables. So here, y and m are both dependent variables. And as a result, they both have a regression equation, they have their own intercept term, they have their own error term, and they have their own path coefficients. A model like this can be estimated most conveniently via path analysis because path analysis allows for multiple dependent variables in a single model, in a single step. So for example, in programs like M plus or Lavan or Amos, you could estimate this model in one single step without having to estimate multiple regression equations. But you can also use a program for multiple regression, such as SPSS, for example. You can use a macro that facilitates the estimation of multiple regression equations. In SPSS, there's this process macro and also for other programs that facilitates this. But in my opinion, using path analysis and using a program for structural equation modeling is the simplest way because those programs also allow for the most sophisticated tests for examining indirect effects. So here, how is the indirect effect defined in such a model? The indirect effect here from x to y via the mediator m is defined as the product of the coefficients a times b. So that's the indirect effect is a times b. And that can be most convenient, conveniently tested for statistical significance by using programs for structural equation modeling, which allow bootstrapping. Bootstrapping is a frequently used method for testing indirect effects. And so that's um, easy to do in, for example, M+. Now let's turn to um, moderation. So what would a moderation model look like for this example? So that would be to so say an alternative model for the relationship between these three variables. A moderation model involves an interaction between variables. Therefore, we could also say it's an interaction model or a moderated regression model. And so in an informal way, this model is sometimes depicted like you can see here, where um, a variable x2, for example, physical health, has a path on another path. So you can see that here physical health sends out an arrow to the path between functional health and subjective health. And what that means is that the coefficient or the strengths of association between x1 functional health and y subjective health is hypothesized to vary for different levels of physical health. So for example, individuals who have um, strong physical health, for them, the relationship between functional health and subjective health might be stronger or weaker than for individuals who have um, impaired physical health. So for different levels of the variable physical health, the relationship would be different 
between functional health and subjective health if there were an interaction. And so that's why the path here is drawn to the other path because that should indicate or is supposed to indicate that this coefficient from x1 to y would not be the same for different values of physical health. It would vary. So, and then that is um, reflected statistically or mathematically in an interaction effect. Now, a better way, so to say, a more correct way to depict a model like this more formally, or which would reflect more what's actually happening when we um, run such a model, is shown here on this next slide. And so in this slide, we depict the regression, so say, as it would be estimated in a moderation analysis. So we would first of all have a regression between x1 and y with a b coefficient, with a regression coefficient, b1. So that would be a simple bivariate uh, regression analysis where y is regressed on x1 with a coefficient b1 and an error term. And then next, we would also include x2, the physical health variable, with its own coefficient b2. And so far, this is just a normal multiple regression model where the two independent variables can be correlated. And so this does not include an interaction yet. But in order to uh, include a potential interaction effect between functional health and physical health, we would also put into the regression model a product term where we simply take the product of the variables x1 and x2 first. So we multiply x1 with x2 and have that use that as another variable, a product variable, and then that product variable gets added to the regression analysis with its own coefficient b3. So this is a regression analysis with three predictor variables that can be described by a single equation where y is equal to an intercept b0, a regression coefficient b1 for x1, a regression coefficient b2 for x2, a regression coefficient b3 for the product term x1 times x2, and an error term. And so the interaction then is tested by looking at b3 and looking at whether b3 is different from 0 and whether it is statistically significantly different from 0. And then if that's the case, so if b3 is statistically significant, then there is an interaction effect. This would mean that um, the relationship between functional health and subjective health is different for different levels of physical health. Or alternatively, also we could say that would mean that the relationship between physical health and subjective health varies for different levels of functional health because an interaction model is a symmetric model where the um, moderator could be either x1 or x2 and that's a sub substantive substantive question so to say what makes more theoretical sense to see functional health as a moderator or physical health that's a substantive question but the b3 coefficient tells you in any case whether there is or is not an interaction in this model. Now the whole thing is a little bit more complicated because in order to properly interpret the coefficients b1 and b2, we should center the variables x1 and x2 first before calculating the product term. Typically, if you want to learn more about this, check out the description um, for a course on mediation and moderation analysis that I am offering. You can find the link um, in the description. But this is so say in essence what a moderation or interaction model looks like. Now let me summarize the differences between mediation and moderation. With mediation we have multiple dependent variables always because you cannot have an indirect effect without having more than one dependent variable. The mediator variable is always also a dependent variable. This means in a mediation model you have multiple regression equations and 
some of these models can be estimated by running multiple regression equations in, for example, SPSS or other software that can handle multiple regression. But a more convenient way to estimate a model, is estimate a mediation model, is path analysis because path analysis very easily handles multiple dependent variables in a single step and also has options for testing indirect or mediated effects more appropriately through bootstrapping in programs for structural equation modeling. So in a mediation model, we have an indirect or mediated variable effect such that, for example, the effect from X to Y may be indirect through M and then M would be the mediator variable. In such a model, we have a direct effect, C prime, we have one or more indirect effects. In our example, with only one mediator, there would be only one indirect effect, A times B. If you had multiple mediators, which is totally possible, then there would be more different kinds of indirect effects, and those could be the products of more than two regression coefficients as well, if there are multiple mediators in the chain from X to Y, for example. We also can then define a total effect, which is the sum of C prime plus all indirect effects. In this case, there is only one. So here the total effect in our example would be C prime plus A times B. And so the question that is addressed with a mediation model is whether part or the full effect of X on Y is mediated by M. So does M explain, so to say, the association between X and Y? In a moderation model, we have typically only one dependent variable, although we could, of course, have moder moderation models as well with multiple dependent variables. Again, within the framework of path analysis, you could have more dependent variables and you could have multiple interactions. But in the simplest case, we have only one dependent variable. And as a result, we have only one regression equation that features an interaction or product term x1 times x2. So that's different. In mediation, there's no product term of variables. There's a product of coefficients of constants, but not a product term of uh, variables, at least not in simple mediation. The moderated effect then is defined as a simple regression coefficient in a multiple regression equation. In our case, B3 was the a regression coefficient for the interaction term x1 times x2 and we test b3 for statistical significance which we can very simply do by running a multiple regression analysis with this product term and then we can look at the b3 coefficient its standard error its p-value its confidence interval and so on the question that is addressed by moderation is whether the effect of x1 on y depends on or varies across the values of x2 or alternatively whether the effect of x2 on y depends on the values of x1. Again, a moderation model is symmetrical such that when b3 is different from 0, we can either say that the effect of x1 on y is moderated by x2, or we could alternatively equivalently say that the effect of x2 on y is moderated by x1. Whether one or the other makes more sense is a theoretical substantive question, not a statistical question, because a moderation model is a symmetrical model. I hope you found this video useful to uh, address maybe some of the confusion about what mediation is versus moderation in statistical analysis. If you like this video, then please subscribe and hit the like button. Don't forget to check out the description for additional resources, including workshops in which I go into more details of path analysis and uh, mediation analysis and moderation analysis. And if you like, you can also leave a comment in the comment section and I'll see you next time.